So this is day three, and what I've done now is I've taken the tank that was inside this two and a half gallon tank that was treated with methylene blue and had uh, the spawning cone where the angelfish laid uh, the eggs and fertilized them. And I've now transported them slowly into this smaller tank. Uh, the first container was about three quarters of a gallon and I treated it with about five to six drops of methylene blue. Uh, I'm using uh, very, very clean water and uh, changing it uh, a little bit as I go. And anytime I see any white eggs, I use this turkey baser thing. And I very, very lightly, the white eggs will are more buoyant uh, than the wigglers. And so I very, very lightly, I, I squeeze it so that I'm already ready to draw water. So I'm not pushing the uh, wigglers and causing any damage. And I get as close as I can to the white eggs that I see and slowly try to suck them up. And you'll end up seeing more and more white eggs as time goes on. That's just the unfortunate thing about not being able to save every angel. Um, but you want to make sure that you maintain very clean water and that you're constantly checking for any white eggs because those eggs did not make it. I kind of see one right there. And they will stick to the angel uh, fish wigglers, or, or should I say the angel fish wigglers will stick to them. Uh, and eventually it can cause them to turn into white egg slash fungus is what I call it. And so you, you want to get rid of as many as you can, all of them. But look how many of these wigglers there are, it's amazing. If you lose a couple of wigglers to save a couple more, then it's worth it, I guess. But I'd like to save every angel that I can. You see right there, that's a, an example of a white egg. So after three days, you have these little wigglers, and then in about 10 days, if you have a little luck, and if you're taking care of the water and checking the temperature and everything else, you're gonna have some swimmers. And then once you have swimmers, you're looking a lot better. What they're gonna do is in about, well, about six, seven days now, they're gonna turn into swimmers, hopefully every one of them, because we wanna save angels. But when they do that, they're gonna try to go to the top of the tank and get to the water line so they can gulp air. And when they gulp air, they become buoyant and then they can move around and feed. So the next journey, this is a very tough time right here. Day three is very tough because you've got to deal with, see how I can even see more now. You got to deal with the eggs that could uh, affect the wigglers and you got to make sure the water's clean. And then when they're finally ready, they got to make the leap of faith up to the top to gulp some air so they become buoyant. And then once that happens, you're looking a lot better, but it's a process. And if you are successful, and I'm just doing this in my, now I call it my dining room, living room. You'll have someday, maybe you've got people like these or angels like these. These are actually the mama and dada, or maybe you have their kids. These are a couple months old now. That one right there is, is about a month old from the same mom and dad. Or maybe you have these. And I could go on and on. But everybody loves angels. And so if you do things right, great. If you do things wrong, try again because saving angels is important.